Google has been on a roll updating Gemini recently, so let's take a look at the latest features, talk about how to use them and why you might want to use them as well. Let's start by looking at a feature called Deep Research. This is where Gemini will do a bunch of research for you on any topic you like. So when I'm in Gemini, I'm going to click on the Deep Research button at the bottom of the screen here. So maybe you're looking for new places to move house, you are an entrepreneur and you want to do some competitor analysis before starting a new business, or you might be in marketing and you want to analyze what campaigns worked well in your niche through the previous year to give you ideas for this year. This would be perfect for that. Now, in my example, I'm going to imagine that I want to research things to do in London. So I'm putting find the 10 best things to do in London for couples aged 35 who like a mix of adventurous activities, checking out the architecture and good food. Now, when I hit enter on this prompt, Gemini is actually going to create a research plan. It's going to show me multiple steps that it will take to go and do this piece of research before giving me the results. So let's take a look at the plan. You can see step one is search for unique adventurous activities for couples in London, and then it's going to give me a report at the end. Now, at this stage, I can add or change this research plan. So if I want to, I can click on edit plan. It's going to update the plan and start the research. Now we can see here the research whilst it's ongoing. At the moment, we're looking at Gemini's thinking. So it's talking through the process and you can see that it's researching all of these websites. Now imagine if you went through that many websites yourself, it would take you absolutely ages. Whilst Gemini is doing the research, you can leave the chat, do other things that you need to. It usually takes a few minutes and you can come back and get your report afterwards. A few minutes later, Gemini is done, and here's the research report that it's given me. Let's see how it's done. Uh, it's given me a nice paragraph to introduce. Climbing the O2 at sunset is quite a nice one. And what's nice is that you can click learn more, and it will show you the sources for this information as well. And as part of Gemini's thinking when I was watching it, it does actually go back and verify that the places it's suggesting actually exist and are real. And so it gives you a list of the sources. You can also look back at the thoughts that it had while it was creating it. And when you're ready, you could export this to Google Docs, and it will just put it all into a Google Doc nicely formatted for you to use however you want. The second new feature in Gemini is called Canvas. And Canvas is like an interactive area where I can collaborate in real time with Gemini. So with a piece of writing, quickly make edits with Gemini rather than having to prompt back and forth. It also helps with coding and it can write code and then preview that for you. Let's use a similar example. In a new chat, the first thing I'm going to do is click the Canvas button at the bottom here, and I'm going to write my prompt. It says you're an expert writer, write a blog post with the top 10 things to do in Edinburgh for young couples aged 18 to 30. Keep it to about 500 words. Hit enter, and it's gonna write that blog post. And usually it would do this just as a response to my prompt in the left-hand side here, like another chat message. But with Canvas, it opens this panel on the right-hand side where we can work together on that piece of writing. And it doesn't have to be blog posts. This could be anything. Maybe you want it to write a report or just give you an outline for some kind of document you're writing. Or in a moment, I'm gonna show you how we can use it for code too. I think this looks pretty good, but I want the whole thing to be a bit longer. So over on the bottom right here, I can choose change length and say I want it long like this. It's gonna go ahead and rewrite it and that change is gonna be put directly into the canvas. There we go, it's added some more detail to all of these points here. By the way, if you want to go back to the previous version, you can just press the previous version button at the top of the screen here and easily flick through the different versions that it's created for you. Now, you do also have options here for formatting the text as well. Mine's hidden under this overflow menu right now, but if I click on there, you see I can add a bulleted list or I can make things bold or italic and so on. The other thing I can do is let's take this Scotch whiskey experience as an example. If I highlight that, you see I've got the option to ask Gemini here, what are some of the best whiskey tours? And when I ask that, it is gonna ask that over on the left-hand side and I get a response over here. And perhaps if I want to, I could take some of that and then include it into my canvas over here. And just like before, I can export this to Google Docs if I want to, but I'm actually gonna try something different. I'm gonna go back to Gemini down here on the bottom left, and I'm going to say, turn this into a one-page website and hit enter. Let's see what Gemini does. It's writing the code now for a website. This is HTML code that it's writing here. And you see, I can switch between the code view and the preview view at the top here. All right, so it's turned it into a one-page website with a gradient background. I want it to be a bit different though. I want the individual items to be in boxes, maybe in two columns and five rows. All right, it's slightly better. So let's collaborate some more. Let's say now put each activity in its own box with the introduction in a box at the top of the page. And let's see what happens. 
there we go. It's put them in individual boxes. And if I wanted to collaborate more, I might now ask to put it in two columns again. But the nice thing is, if I go to the code view, I can edit this code to make changes myself. So if you know HTML, you might change the background color, for example. So here at the moment, it's from purple 400 to pink 300. Let's just try saying uh, blue to green like this. And if I switch back to the preview, it's changed the gradient in real time. And then you could take that code, you could build your own website and do whatever else you wanted with it. The third new feature is audio overviews. Audio overviews basically create a podcast about the content that you've created with Gemini. And it could be from conversation or from files that you've added to the chat. There's also this new files panel that we access by clicking this button at the top right of the screen here. And I can add any files that I like. So let's imagine you're studying a topic, but you feel like you'd learn better if you got a summary audio overview instead of rereading 10 different documents. You could upload the documents here, in a moment create an audio overview, and then listen to it on your way into school or work. What I'm going to do though is click on Add Files and choose Drive. And I have this document that's all about London. I'm going to insert that. And I could insert as many as I like, but I'm going to keep it at that one for now. When I've done that, you see I have the option to generate an audio overview now. If I click on that button, Gemini is going to take a few minutes and it's going to create effectively a podcast between two people about all of the information in that document. All right, here's that overview. Let's click play and have a listen. All right, welcome in everyone to another deep dive. Yeah. Today, uh, we are headed uh, across the pond. We're going to London. Very exciting. It is exciting, it is. Right. I've always wanted to go. I know you've been and- um, Yeah, many times. So you've given me like this huge stack of stuff to get through. Mm-hmm. I promise you that is all completely made up. They are not real people that have recorded those voices. It's synthetic, made by Gemini. And remember the research I had Gemini do earlier on? When you've done a piece of research, you can also have Gemini create an audio overview of that. Where we clicked to export that research to docs, if we click on the arrow instead, we can choose generate audio overview, and we get the same result here. It will take all of that research that it's done and create an audio overview. The fourth feature released for everyone this year on Gemini is called Gems. And if you wanna learn more about Gems, which are like custom experts to help you with tedious or repetitive tasks like writing copy for blog posts, or even just coaching on your resume, or anything you want with custom Gems, go and find out more about that in this video that I made here. By the way, I send one immediately actionable tip every week in my newsletter called Workspace Boost. You can sign up completely for free at the link in the comments.